Hey everyone, so this is step three, and this is about feeding the growth mindset, or in the terms of Covey's seven habits of highly effective people, it would kind of fall under the uh, sharpen the saw uh, analogy. And if you're, I'm, I'm assuming most uh, educators are familiar with the growth mindset versus the fixed mindset, and we want to encourage both in ourselves and in our students the idea of a growth mindset where uh, they're willing to accept some challenges, to uh, battle through adversity, uh, but most importantly, to keep on learning and not just staying uh, in place, especially with uh, the ever-changing times of education. So the resources that you'll find here are all designed to really hopefully give you some resources that you can go and find some good quality uh, podcasts, uh, videos, reading resources uh, to help expand your mind and keep yourself moving forward. So some of these are just uh, some information about the growth study or growth mindset and what you can get some more information on the latest. But then there's some uh, staying sharp over the summer free PD resources. And some of these may be a little dated. It's always hard to keep track of. Also, there's uh, the seven most interesting courses on iTunes U, and you might want to check this one out. iTunes U supposedly is uh, going away or at least being uh, reimagined, I suppose. So you might want to check these out before you can. And iTunes U, if you're not familiar with it, basically has courses and content from some really well-established universities and schools throughout the world. So you can take advantage of getting some lectures on topics uh, from kind of world-class uh, researchers and uh, lecturers. So feel free to check those out before hopefully they're not gone or gone uh, for good. Uh, also, Overdrive, if you've never seen Overdrive, it links with your local public library and you can get what's known as the Libby app. So it's a free app that you can download. Again, you use it with your public library card and you can, and it works like a library. So you can get books, so eBooks, you can get a lot of times documents, and you can also get audiobooks, which I find are some really useful ones. So if you get this on your phone, and usually most libraries and librarians will help walk you through this whole step and process if you go to your local library, which is always good, um, you basically can uh, download an audiobook or an eBook again, or documents and read them. And just like a library, you have say two weeks to do that, um, and then it reverts back to uh, the library itself, so the collection. So again, if it's a really popular book that's new, that's hot and new, you may have to just, you know, hopefully reserve it for yourself. And then when it comes available for you, then you can do it. So again, it's like a library. You're not going to be able to have instant access to everything, but it's a really great way to do it. And again, there's so many books out there that are, that are part of uh, Libby that I'm sure you'll find some good reading material or audio, audio material. Like I said, I like the audio books just because then I can put my phone uh, in my car and listen to things when I'm, when I'm taking a long drive. So it's a great uh, resource and that's the Libby or Overdrive app. Goodreads, if you're, a, if you're a reader and you like book clubs, but maybe you don't have time to be in book clubs, if you set up a Goodreads account, you can connect with your friends and find out what they're reading and they can see what you're reading. You can put reviews. So it's a way to really, you know, capture what you're reading and also just kind of keep track of what you're reading as well. And also find books that may be of interest to you of any kinds. It doesn't have to be professional. The New York Public Library, for any New York State resident, you do have access to this to the accounts at the New York State Public Library. So you can set up a free kind of digital library card, which will also give you access to ebooks, documents, and uh, even I think movies and things you can, um, you can use again for a, a library short time. So usually two weeks. Uh, this is a thing uh, about Stitcher, which will let you uh, listen to radio shows and podcasts, which I think are good. This is a 2017 version of Edutopia's article about best education podcasts. They're still relevant, um, but I'm sure you can find a, a more current one. And then again, there's some other uh, iTunes U courses and growth mindset information there. So I hope you'll kind of sharpen your saw this summer with this and look over some of these and maybe connect and enjoy uh, creating, uh, you know, I guess pushing your mind a little bit uh, and growing this summer.